Hello filmmaking friends of the internet, it's Matt here again. I'm um, just giving you another little sample of what I've been spending the last probably 48 hours mucking around with. Um, so as you probably know from my last video, I'm into the piano, I love music, um, but I've never really sort of composed for other anything else but the piano. So today, I um, obviously was inspired by this. Fucking sick. So sick. Bailish is such a sneaky fuck, isn't he? But he's cool. <laughs> anyway, so the soundtrack behind this. Um, there's an official soundtrack. It's not the same as the trailer soundtrack. Um, the trailer soundtrack's more epic, so the official one um, is different, and that's the one that I've sort of played. So I played a little bit of that on Instagram. But check this shit out. So I've composed four violas, uh, the cello, the bass, and sort of a solo cello and um, yep so check this out so the piano alone and bear with me because there'll be people who know how to compose music and know how to use Cubase and they'll just be wanting to stab themselves in the neck after watching this because I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> but let's have a listen to the piano So I've got some natural reverb there using the whole uh, mic instead of adding reverb. And then you see I've got these four instruments and we're sort of gonna, I'll break it down and show you what I've done to them. So before we get to the, I'm just gonna show you separately what they sound like. Cause this sort of, it's just fascinating to me. So I'm gonna solo the violas for a start. And if you double click on that, it brings up the MIDI and shows you the notes that I've played. But then this is the really cool part is this bottom half, which is called the expressor or expression, my bad. And basically you control the volume and you can draw in a volume and that allows you to add some human touch to the actual instrument. So if I just solo the violas and press play. And what's sick is, you can just change that, so if I want to change the position of that, you just do whatever you want. Pretty sick. And then you can go in and get the pan and you can say, I want to write a different expression there and have different volume rises and shit like that. But anyway, so that's what the viol uh, violas sound like. Uh, viola is just like a bigger violin, pretty sure. Um, so now if I add the cello as well, this is what they sound like. bass as well so this is obviously some bass bass is um not a bass guitar so it's just a huge cello looking thing bass <laughs> So it sounds pretty lame so far, but when you add everything in, especially this really expressive, expressive, amazing cello by Tina Guo, fucking hell. Google Tina Guo. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm gonna unsolo Tina Guo. Actually, I might just show you what Tina Guo's thing sounds like on its own. So we'll just open that. So this is another cello, but it's just a whole lot more expressive. And you probably recognize this melody. So now, if we add all of those bad boys together, so we'll go violas, cellos, bass, and the expressive cello. 
Have a listen to this. So how I did this, or like, because like I don't really know how to write music, but I know it sounds good. So I guess I mean I've been playing piano for a long time, and I've probably you know used the violas where I shouldn't be using them, and there's certain ways to write for an orchestra. I don't really know what that is, so I'm just sort of trying my best to make it sound good. Um, so if you got any tips, definitely let me know. If I've done something sort of obviously wrong, it'd be awesome for some advice. But um, yeah, basically what I'll do is I'll start with the melody, sort of the main musical line, and then. I'll just start looping that line and then add some violas and see what sounds nice with it. So for example, if I turn off everything but the cello and the violas, what I was doing, I was listening to the Tina Guo cello that I recorded, and then I just started mucking around with the violas and see, it, see what sounds nice. So I will eventually finish the song. But finally, I'll just show you what it sounds like with all the instruments playing together. It sounds fucking sick. I'm so happy. <laughs> all right. Um, may as well just for the sake of it bring this up so it looks a bit better. Um, actually, now why don't we bring up the MIDI for the piano. Looks impressive, I guess. There's dots everywhere and shit. So this is the piano score in MIDI form. So these are all the notes um, that I was playing on Instagram the other day. And I haven't added in any expression um, to these because with the piano, like it is a naturally expressive instrument, so I'm playing expression with my hands. But you can see that these velocity triggers are how hard I press the keys. So the higher the, the thingy, the louder or more expressive or more, yeah, more louder I've pressed the keys as I've gone along. So this is pretty cool just to look at and analyze um, the way you play music. Um, yeah, let's have a look and see what this looks like. Here we go. So everything at once. At the very start, come on. Oh god, I hate this program sometimes. That's all I've got for so far, but there's heaps more to go. I can't wait to do this bit. So just to give you an idea of how it works, just before I wrap this up, um, if I just duplicate this Tina Guo layer, Okay, I'm back, and I don't know how the fuck, I just totally wrecked everything. Anyway, <laughs> so I've got this instrument on its own. Um, so that's Tina Guo. She's fucking awesome. And anyway, so um, this is an instrument that you can load, and you buy this instrument. And um, it's really a solo performance instrument, and what I mean by that is like it's got this amazing legato built into it. Legato just means a transition between two notes. Is it like a rapid transition or does it sort of glide between the two notes and that's what legato means so a more super awesome legato cello 
This is what it sounds like when you sort of transition between two C's in an octave. Hear that? That's legato, and that's what's fucking sick about it. So anyway, so we got this cello here. I've loaded it here, and I've also soloed the piano. So if we just play, um, this is what I would do. So I'd loop it. Totally fuck that up. Um, so maybe I'll go like. Just play that over the piano. And as you can see, it didn't really work, I didn't play it in time, but if I was recording that, then I can go and fuck with the MIDI notes and do all that shit. But yeah, so if you're interested in getting into this stuff, like, fuck, this is so sick. It's really, um, I don't know, it's just, it's rewarding to be able to create something, even though I'm ripping off another one's, someone else's song. All of these notes are my own notes, like I've just made that sound the way I want it to sound. And it's really rewarding and therapeutic and um, useful. Maybe I'll have a career in music, I don't know. <laughs> my nana would love that. Anyway, um, if you've got any comments or tips to help me get um, good at Cubase and just um, writing for cellos and piano, because that's mostly what I want to do, cellos and piano, strings and piano, um, let me know. And uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, bye.